This might be the hardest Final Fantasy game I have ever platinumed. Actually, no, it is the hardest. I've platinumed six of them, and none of them come even close to the frustration I felt during this game. If you asked my opinion after beating the game the first time around, I'd have said this might be my game of the year. That opinion quickly changed, however. Why? Well, the sheer amount of things you gotta do, with some of them being absolutely brutal. You'll basically need 100%, that means completing the game again on hard mode, getting high scores on every minigame, which there is a lot of, and some of them are ridiculous. And lastly, getting all 88 of Johnny's treasures, which is why you pretty much need to do everything. And one of those treasures means completing every Chadley challenge. And trust me when I say this, that's only scratching the surface. This Platinum took me over 190 hours and probably a few years off my life as well. With all that said, let's tackle all 61 of Final Fantasy Rebirth's trophies. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> it's time for Final Fantasy Rebirth. I've been this excited for a game in, in quite a while. I am freaking buzzing. Let's go. <laughs> Quick little recap I'm of the waiting. Cool. Of the first. Alright, here we go. Here we go. My first bit of combat. Let's get it. We completed the fight. Finishing the intro. Chapter 1, Fall of a Hero. Leading right into meeting up with one. Sephiroth. I'll take the other. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, he's showing us up. He just one shot that thing. I doubt we're gonna be one shotting. Oh, we play Sephiroth? Oh, shh. Okay, I wasn't ready for this. Ooh, let's go. Ooh, damn, bro. Shortly after that, I unlocked three quick and easy trophies. Ooh. Oh, there's our first trophy. Staggered learning. Staggering enemy. And another one. I got this. Win a battle. Cross slash. This is here. Let's do that. Ooh, another trophy as well. Break it down. Use a limit break. Beautiful. This combat's feeling real good right now. Not long after I unlocked a materia called Assess. You want to be using this on every single enemy you face so you can see its weaknesses. But not only that, you'll have to assess a whole bunch of them to unlock certain Chadley challenges. As for this enemy, it was fire. Woo! A trophy. Exploitative practices exploit an enemy's weakness. I use the synergy skill. These are skills that you can pull off with other members. Ooh, another trophy. Team player, use a synergy skill. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a boss. This is definitely a boss fight. And then during the first boss fight, I did my first synergy ability. These are very similar to the synergy skills, but these are stronger and actually give you a buff. Like for example, unlimited magic for a certain amount of time. You're going down. You said you wanted to be a hero. Now's your chance. Wish I had. Here we go. Let's see what his weakness is. What's your weakness, Guardian? Fire. Get off me. Attack his hand, that release me. Yeah, there we go. Trophy as well. Something friendship for your bound ally. Let's go. And we stunned him. Nice, let's go. Right, I mean to get over there. Pressure mode. Oh, there's another trophy. No eye in synergy. Damn, we're getting trophies galore right now. Ooh, I got my limit break. This is so freaking epic, bro. Let's go. All right, we got him staggered. It's time to go to town. Oh, we're doing so much damage right now. Let's get it. Boom. Let's go. 
Uh oh. There we go. Take it from here. Nice. That's our first boss. Defeated. With that done, we headed back home and got some rest. Hey, is that chapter one? Never meet your heroes. There it is, complete chapter one. Chapter two, a new journey begins. And we could now explore the town. So I faced two Queen's Blood challenges. This is a card game that's actually quite in depth the further you get, and it's really good. I'll try to explain the rules a little bit later since this mini game actually has its whole entire quest line. So I'll be doing many more matches. Hey, a trophy as well. New blood. Raise your queen's blood rank. That's a really fun little mini card game. Damn, look at that. We've made it out into the grasslands. Here we go, out of the city. And I guess now we'll be able to uh, fully free roam and explore. It's going to be good. Ooh, a trophy. Cashing in. Complete your, ser uh, your search for the cash location. Now in our first massive open world, the grasslands, we needed a chocobo to get around a little bit faster. Gotcha. <laughs> You're mine, Pico. There we go. Got myself a chocobo. Got his favorite treat for him as well. Oh, it's Chadley. He's the dude that we do all the training stuff for. He does all the, uh, like, simulations or whatever. Having access to Chadley, I did a few challenges. During one of them, I leveled up my weapon proficiency. Each weapon has one. Just simply use the skill. Oh, there's another trophy. Weapons 101. Max out our weapons abilities proficiency. You just simply use the weapon skill a few times and you'll get access to it, no matter which weapon you use. I continued doing challenges and leveled up my first materia. Materias are one of the staples of pretty much every Final Fantasy game. You slot them into your weapons and your armor, and of course, as you progress through the game and get stronger weapons and stronger armor, they'll have more slots for materia. Oh, there's a trophy! A Materia World. Okay. Level up an orb of Materia. Ooh, we got a trophy. Fledgling Summoner. Uh, invoke a summon, according to Chocobo. So, during the open areas, you'll come across these special battles where you need to complete all three of these, like, challenge requirements. Most of them are really easy, but even if you fail, you can just retry. You just hold triangle. Alright, that's one done. There you go. Got my limit break as well. 28 seconds left. There we go. Let's get it. Boom. Trophy as well. Intelligence aid. Gather world intel at five separate locations. There's so much in this game, it's crazy. I'm only just scratching the surface, but there's just so much. Oh, we got another chocobo spot. Where's the cute little chocobo? There he is. He's so cute. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's repair this thing. Be pretty. I, I want a little chocobo. There we go. Chocobo stop is now working. Order. Cool. Beautiful. Oh, a trophy as well. I break for chocobos. Repair three chocobo stops. Okay. Beautiful. Oh my god, you can pet the chocobo as well, the small chocobo. What a W. In other words, we got a Ooh, trophy. Expert X uh Kuha Vita. Use the chocobo to find two treasures buried by rabbits. Oh look, we got another cute little chocobo. Take us to a chocobo stop. However, once you've done all of the smaller battle challenges, you'll unlock the main final one for that region. Each region. We got him has one. Woo! Get out of here. That one was quite tough. Level up as well. You'll love to see it. Oh, a trophy. Entering new markets. Complete a quest. Next, I took on the Proto Relic quest line. In each of the areas, you'll have a few quests that you'll need to complete. And when you complete all four of them, you'll unlock a piece of the Proto Relic. We're going to need all of these pieces. Oh, what? They've been knocked out by someone. Oh my god, they're pretending. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god, they actually fooled me. 
Bex badass is a busy playing dead. And <laughs> wake him up. Okay, let's wake him up. How do we wake him up? Oh, here we go. Are we gonna are we gonna drop it on him? <laughs> While I was doing the mission, I paid these fools two thousand gil, and they said they was gonna open up a business. I don't believe them. Okay, they're gonna go business. Oh, complete. Now we got the item, Proto Relic. That's my first one. Oh, trophy as well. Founder's bonus. Obtain the Proto Relic in the Grasslands. Synergy, let's go! Fuck yes. Woo! You love to freaking see that damage right there. Over, bro. Let's get it. Ooh, chapter three. Swampy situation. Let's get it. Deeper into the darkness. Once I was done with that, I thought it was a good time to now go and finish up all of the intel in the grasslands. This means climbing all of the towers, completing the Moogle Emporium, more on that later, doing all of the battles that I mentioned, and just a bunch of different intel collectible type things. Oh, that's number three. Now that I've grabbed all these, this should hopefully be the final piece of intel I need in the grasslands region. We got an enhanced bone bracelet. There we go. Right, so yeah, is that the last one? Yeah, beautiful. 280 altogether, and a trophy as well. World Intel Complete, Director of the Regional Intelligence. So that's gathering all pieces of World Intel in this region. Good stuff. I can finally move on with the uh, main story now. One of which is you get intel on uh, a summon, and there's a summon for each area. You can face the summon, at Chadley straight away, but it would be like so difficult, it's basically impossible. But as you get more intel on the summon, you can make the fight easier and easier. So I got all of the intel on the Titan summon, and then I went to Chadley and I faced him in the combat simulator. Ooh, a trophy. You work for me now. Defeat a summon in battle and obtain its materia. Well, it looks like we've arrived. Ooh, we got a new region. And a trophy, make mine black. Oh, we completed chapter three. Complete the Fort Condor battle. Whoa, what? This is cool. <laughs> you have been sucked into the board game known as Fort Condor. To claim the proto relic here, you'll need to lead the Condor cavalry to victory over the advancing Shinra forces. This is a pretty cool mode. It's like a little you'll lose if you cannot defeat the boss before the timer runs out. Got a minute. Oh, okay. Insta killed him. Boom. Victory. That was a cool little mini game. A little bit confusing at first, but we got it done. Ooh, a trophy. Intelligence specialist. So that's for what? Gathering world intel at 50 separate locations. Right, we might have this. Tifa's just gone down there, you can see. We've still got cloud that we can spawn shortly, though. You can see in the top right, so we've got a timer. We need to make sure we defeat the boss before then. We're going to spawn Cloud. You can see in the top left, I've got my uh, ATB points. My units all cost between one and three. When I've spawned a certain amount of shield characters, I can spawn Cloud. And when I've spawned a certain amount of sword characters, I can spawn Tifa. Tifa's unfortunately gone down, though. But I do have my full squad up front here. And they're doing pretty good. Let's get a shield character down. Uh, sorry, a uh, ranged character. I think we might have this in the bag. We've just got to take him out. He's almost dead. Cloud should be able to do some good damage. Oh, the focus fire on the, the big guy. We'll see how this goes. We're almost there, though. Still got a minute. I think we might be okay. Boom. Let's go. Victory. I really enjoy that mini game. It's pretty fun. Thanks to Chadley's update, hard mode is now available in Fort Condor. Perfect for those who want a serious challenge. Nice, that's another proto relic. Beautiful. Almost done with this area as well. So I think that will probably be another trophy. Yep, there it is. Fort Condor Commander. So that's the uh, Junon region done. This is the run. Yeah, this is it. Got it. I think. Oh, don't even fail now. Oh no. Are you having a fucking laugh? There's no way I just lost. Come on, come on, come on. Hit him once. Just one hit, bro. 
Just hit once. Just hit one. That was close. Jesus, that was so close. That was hard, bro. That was super difficult. There we go. Complete. Hard mode. Let's go. You love to see it. Sweet. So I think now, I think I've completed every objective now in the Junon region. Yep. Junon region complete. Okay. Oh. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Oh no, you don't. Jump on the dolphin. <laughs> nice. Whoop. Bam. Got him. I need to get rank three. One minute and 20 seconds. Stay on the platform for as long as possible. This is a good start. Oh, this is getting rough. Jesus, that's hard, bro. <laughs> that is not easy. I love how even the frogs actually kind of resemble the characters as well. So cool. Bro, that is crazy. Dude, this is crazy, bro. Yeah, there we go. Yo, this was actually way harder than I thought it was going to be. Not going to lie. This was actually quite difficult. Dude, I'm unstoppable. <laughs> there we go, we've done it. Wait, we're gonna I'm gonna ride the dolphin. We actually get to play it as well. Okay, that's cool. Here we go. So we need to hit these balls, make sure we go on the right side of them. The ramps. We can drift. I don't think I've ever heard the phrase drift the dolphin before. So that's it's a new one for me. Oh, we're starting to move now. I'd be surprised if this doesn't become a mini game at some point. We do it. Oh. Perfect. What the hell is going on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Nice. We made it. Alive. That's always good. In this next section, I had to recruit some infantry to put on a show. You only need five to progress the story. For two of the trophies, I needed all ten, and then I also needed to get an outstanding performance in the parade. Oh, there they are, finally. That's the last one I need. I was having trouble finding that final one, but should have all ten now. Sweet, there we go. Oh, trophy for it as well. Seventh Assemble. Recruit all Midgar 7th Infantry units for the parade in Junon. Sweet. Yeah, I had trouble finding that final one, but we're good now. We can do the parade. Formations change. They're doing... What a per... Right, that went pretty much flawlessly. So there's a trophy here. You need to get 100 thousand likes at the end of all three formations it's so hard sometimes though with the camera angles it's the camera angle that messes you up sometimes because you don't know where the orbs coming from and how fast it's going to move so you, you can only really try and focus on the the square that appears around it and just try your best but it's quite difficult sometimes that's round two so we got one more round how many likes have we got all right, we got 48,000, so I need another 52 in this last formation. Final wave. Let's not faff this up. All right, so far, so good. All right, this is going good. As long as I don't really faff stuff up now, might be okay. I don't think I've had a single bad yet, which is obviously a win. Combo 22 right now, which is also good. I think I might have it. Oh, I faff that one up. All right, I messed one up, which is a bit of a shame. Hopefully that doesn't mess it up. 
Right, I think that's it. Come on, please. We got combo at 26. We got no good, but we got one bad. The rest of it were great, though. I feel like they should be good. I mean, hopefully that's good enough so we don't have to retry. Yeah, the the there we go. 101,000, which means we should get the trophy. There it is. Stealing the show. Win the prize for outstanding performance in the Junon Parade. We have to set the stage. First, the music. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do it, Roach. It's over for you, bro. GG, mate. This guy's crazy. It reminds me of like a. It fit in with a, a psycho from like Dead Rising. Looks like you're gonna need a new bike. Yeah, I don't think it works like that. <laughs> yeah, we're on a boat and we're off to uh, a new area, I guess. And a trophy as well. The President's Commendation for completing Chapter 4, which begins Chapter 5 Blood in the War. So while we were on the boat, we needed to win the Queen's Blood Tournament. Alright, final round it is. Who's gonna be in the final round though? Okay, kiddo, let's go. So let me just give you a simple, quick rundown on how Queen's Blood actually works. You've got three lanes. We're on the left and the opponent's on the right, although that does change up in certain challenges, but for the most part, that's how that works. Each card will have a cost between one and three. You can see the cost of the card on the top left with the power being on the top right. Also on each card, you can see those kind of yellow little spaces. That means once placed, they will take those slots and become your placement, meaning you can put cards in that area. So if you have no green placements on it, you'll gain one. And if you've already got a green placement on there, it'll upgrade it to a two, which then obviously means you can place a two. And if you upgrade it again through a level three card, it's kind of hard to explain so hopefully the gameplay helps a little bit. Shove that there. Grades the top one. Damn, he took over that. Alright, we've got three there. That'll turn the top into a three and it'll give me advantage on the bottom. So let's do that. Alright, so then I can take... I could take this one. Destroy that top, top card. And give me position on the right. Alright, he's got that, but I've got the middle still. Let's upgrade that. Okay, it's not too bad. Alright, what else can we do? So we can put... Then what I'll do... Put this one there. That'll take control of both of those, which means all three of the positions are mine now. So let's see if I can get the win. Alright, so I've got a five. Let's put him there. That'll give us a draw on the middle lane. And then all I need is, yeah, all I need is two points on the top. And the victory is mine. There we go. So I've got five points on the top, 12 points on the bottom, which defeats hers. And then a draw in the middle. So I've already won. So I'm just kind of rubbing it in the face now by putting another, another card down. But there it is. Let's pass it. Should have the win by 20 points. First try, I'll take it. She wasn't all that after all. There we go. Easy win. Yep, you lost. Sorry, kiddo. Cloud is the champion. Not so fast, good captain. What? I get to show my hand. Bro. What the <laughs> What? Why is Wreck just suddenly dancing like Michael Jackson? <laughs> okay. Are you serious? I've got a fight red. Struggling so bad standing up. What is going on right now? <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Okay. One more game. Oh my god, that move at the end was clutch. That one little card just won me the game. That's six in a row. Relationship deepens, we read. 
Right, no more surprise games now. Can I have my title? Why, thank you. Oh, the trophy as well. Card royalty. Win the Queen's Blood Tournament held on board the Shinra 8. Shortly after, Sephiroth decided to ruin the party. Oh, damn. Which meant it was time for a boss fight. What is that, bro? Oh, my God. My guy, bro. Okay, let's get it. Let's go. What's your weakness, bro? What's your weakness? Bro, we just got to inflict damage. Okay, just straight up damage. Let's get it. Yes. Oh, this... Oh, yeah. Staggered. Limit break. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. What is it doing now? What is going on? This is like some Resident Evil shit. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I need to start blocking. Yes. Get him. We're almost done. Assuming we don't have another phase. We're almost there. There it is. Yeah, let's go. That was so freaking epic, bro. Woo. Ooh, that's the chapter, I think. Cryptic cameo. Complete chapter five. Chapter six, Fool's Paradise. All right, here we are. We are in a new area, the Coral Region. Welcome to Costa del Sol. We've got people dancing and everything. What's this? Riding wheelers? Wheelers offer an easy way to explore sites of Costa del Sol. Accelerate with R2, reverse with L2. What, we got a new little traversal thing instead of the chocobo? Okay, I'm down. <laughs> okay. I'm loving this. It's so much fun. With a new area, brings new mini games. First was a shooting gallery. Oh, did I get rank three straight away? First try? Okay, I'll take it. We need to get rank three on all these mini games for um, a trophy later on. Then, some football with red. I needed to do these to earn, like, ticket token things, which I then used to buy, like, new clothes so we could go to the beach. Did I get it? I have no idea. First place? Is that what we needed? There we go. Rank two, rank one, rank two, and rank three. Yeah, there we go. Boom. That's another mini game done. Once all my characters were spruced up, we headed to the beach, and, of course, some enemies decided to show up. All right, now the girls are ready for the beach as well. I'm legit gonna be fighting them with a freaking an umbrella. Okay, let's get it. Let's go. It's time to fight. All right, boss fight. Might be it. There it is. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, you can come with us. Why not? Oh, trophy. Fun in the sun. Complete chapter six. Chapter 7 begins, Zoe's left behind. Oh no, I've got to face Jules now. This is not going to go well for me. Just rank 1 and 2 was a little bit of trouble for me, so... Just have fun with it. This one's probably going to suck. Yeah. It did. Ah, I feel like probably if you faff up just one time against Jules, you're probably best restarting. I'll keep going though, just in case, but I feel like that's probably going to be the case. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a restart. There's no way I'm going to catch up. Not a chance. This is going to suck. It's almost like... Aye. Every time the hold one, bro, it gets me. I'm just so focused on getting it done fast that I just press the button. Because you have to press the button quite hard. The L2 and R2 triggers. Obviously, the PS5 has that feature where the triggers are, like, harder to pull. And this kind of does it. The higher your combo, the harder the triggers are to kind of, like, pull. So, because you're trying to go fast and you're pushing the trigger as hard as you can, as soon as that green one pops up, where you're only supposed to press the trigger in a little bit, it's kind of hard because, like, I say you, you're conditioned to already be pressing it hard no i lost by two. Oh well i lost by one but if you get a draw you lose right okay that was only like my third attempt so i think i got it i think i got this oh my god this is so annoying 
It's even more annoying because it switches up the, um, you kind of get used to a rhythm and then like when you fail and you retry, it might change the rhythm. It doesn't change the rhythm during the match, but it might change it on your next attempt and it's super annoying. Fuck off. Oh, I keep messing up now. No. Uh, I'm in the zone. I'm out. I don't even know if I'm winning because I'm not looking. Someone's been slacking off. Whoa, let's go, 55. Get out of here, Jules. Oof. Okay, that didn't take as long as I thought it would, and it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be, but it still pissed me off, if I'm being completely honest, but there it is. I hope that's the hardest one, and I don't have to do any more of that, because it was bad enough in the first game, and it's just as bad here in the second game. <laughs> A little baby chocobo. What the hell is that? Some nasty ass looking bird. Alright, let's get it. Nice. Almost killed him. What's he doing? Jesus. Should do it. There we go. Save the mini chocobos. There's a rock in the way, I can't see them. There they are. Little baby chocobos. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. The gold saucer. Hell yeah. Huh? So turn those rounds upside Gonna down. Gonna ride this thing all the way to a new area. What in the Ooh, the price of progress. Complete chapter seven. Chapter eight begins. All that glitters. We're heading to the gold saucer. Look. Look. It's gonna be crazy. I'd imagine there's going to be a lot more mini games here as well. This is going to be good. <laughs> Jesus. These cutscenes are crazy. This is incredible. Once we'd arrived, we headed to a haunted hotel to rest up before taking on some more mini games, of course. Looks like we're staying at a haunted hotel. Alright, so I need a rank three on the G bike game. So we need 30,000 score. All right, let's uh, let's let's see how this goes. I absolutely, I'm already loving this area. I've only been in it for like 20 minutes, but it's so colorful and cool that I'm digging it. There we go. Looks like I got my 30,000, just about 31,800. Let's go. It's a rank S. Beautiful stuff. There we go. Rank one complete. Rank two complete. And rank three complete. On to the next mini game. All right, what we got next? 3D Brawler. All right, so it looks like I'll need to take out three different characters, although that's one star, two star, three star, so we might end up having to take out another two at some point, but for now. Oh man, this is hard. Wow, this is, it's not good. Now, this minigame was brutal. The mechanics are simple. Use the left and right analog and move in the correct direction to avoid the attacks. Once you do, your opponent over time will be open so you can attack them. It's kind of like they run out of stamina. You do this enough, you fill the meter on the bottom and you can then do a finishing move, which of course wins you the fight. We'll have to do many more of these later on and they become ridiculously difficult. There we go, boom, that's number three done. I was actually not as easy as I thought it was going to be. It's more about just memorizing the character's movements, though. As soon as you kind of memorize them, it's not too bad. But yeah, that's only three stars, so yeah, I'd imagine at some point we might get we might have to take on a four and a five. For now, though, we're good. All right, so for this one, ride Galactic Saviors. So for rank one, two, and three, for rank three, we need 35,000 score. All right, here we go. Going to be a Space Ranger for the day. Oh, okay. Bro, this is too cool, man. Total score, 47,000. Oh, easy, smash the score. Yeah, there we go. Rank three complete, beautiful. All right, so Barrett's getting blamed for uh, 
going crazy over at the golden saucer so we've kind of gone underneath it sort of thing and there's a, a prison it's like the dust prison or something we need some food for the uh, chocobo so we're gonna go do another mini game this one's the desert rush so for this one for a rank three we need to get 42,000 score <laughs> There we go, we got the score. Beautiful. Yeah, this wasn't difficult, it was just more about learning where all the boxes were because you need to hit like the energy orbs to be able to advance into certain areas. So yeah, it was more just learning where to go at what time. There we go. A rank three for us. 44,000. Yep, there it is. Rank three and a new weapon for us. You'll love to see it. Beautiful. So after finally feeding the chocobo, we could take part in the chocobo races. All right, here we are. I've customized my chocobo. We're in our first chocobo race. All right, here we go. Final lap. I'm quite far ahead of the opponents right now. You collect these little things you can see, the blue ones you can see on the bottom left there for speed. These ones, these are for speed. I'm at the max speed though, 10 is the max. We're already as fast as we can run. Then we've got the yellow one, which we can press R1 for a boost. And then we've also got L1, which is my chocobo's ability. That fires these things flying around me forward, but there's no enemies in front of me, so don't really need to use it. So for now, it's just about staying in first place, not messing up and getting to the end. We can drift as well with R1. Sorry, R2, there we go. Easy win, beautiful. Um, off we go. We're leaving the dust bowl and heading into the desert. Dine was one of Barrett's uh, old best friends who has been through a rough time to say the least. And he was the reason that Barrett got blamed at the gold saucer. But yeah, unfortunately things were not looking good for Dine. Once we got to this new area, we had a few boss fights to tackle. First of all, I felt super bad for Dine. The story around Dine and Barrett, I won't spoil any of it, but it was really good. Charge attack. Uppercut, boom, boom, there it is, dying, defeated. We've got another boss fight, Palma, okie dokie. There we go, got him. Ooh, worth the wait, complete chapter eight. That was probably my favorite chapter so far, it was so freaking good. There was just so many amazing mini games and just crazy, amazing places to explore. Well, that's chapter 8 done, and chapter 9 begins. The planet stays. Oh, oh, we can actually control this thing? Oh my god, we got a new, like, buggy that we can control. Hell yeah. This is going to help us uh, getting around. After gathering some more battle intel, I had to face the dreaded Tonberry. Ooh, defeat the Tonberry King. This one could be difficult. If I remember right, the Tonberry is the, the one that can kill you in one shot with his little dagger maneuver. So, we'll see how this goes. Yep, just like that. Almost got him. You gotta be careful, he drops pans on your head. If it hits you, it freaking stuns you, and then he comes over and one shots you. Sad times, brother. Sad, sad, sad. Uh oh. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Here we go. Synergy. Boom. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Tonberry King is gone. I then found a familiar friend who needed some help. There he is. That's Cloud Jr. We found him. Oh, he's about to get eaten. Right, we need to save him. Oh, that was close. We got him. Come on, Jr. You're coming with us. <laughs> you hear me? Off he goes. So, do you remember those treasures that I mentioned that I needed for Johnny? Well, his hotel was a bit of a shithole, to be honest. So, we was doing a couple of side missions for him to help him improve it. That is a huge difference. Look at this place. It doesn't look like the same place. Oh, my days. It's beautiful, Johnny. It's beautiful. <laughs> Takes the saying, if you need it done proper, do it yourself to a whole new level. Okay. Rest assured, you'll be handsomely rewarded. Oh, so I wonder if this is all those things I've been collecting. Oh my god, look at them all on the walls. That's so freaking cool. So, Johnny is amassing a collection of rare curios from all around the world to evaluate. 
One minigames and complete various objectives around the world to obtain collector's items and automatically donate them to your best bro. Press L2 to view your current treasure trove as well as hints on how to find more collector items. Yeah, so throughout the whole game I've been collecting collectibles thing. Oh, here we go. Trophy. One star. Start up. Donate 10 items. Nice. Another one. Three star. Donate 30 items to the treasure trove as Johnny's Seaside Inn. Alright, there's another two trophies for me. You love to see it. Yeah, so throughout the game we've been completing challenges. You can see here all the spaces for all the different things that we need. So we actually got quite a lot. We're missing a lot, but we got a lot. This is actually super cool. I wasn't expecting to actually be able to view them all in. Oh, we've got 37 out of 88 it's in the top corner. So yeah, I think we need to get all of these, all 88 for a trophy, which from what I know basically means getting 100 percent So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. Then moving on with the story, it was time to fight. Oh brilliant. What the hell is that? <laughs> Let's go. Do some more ice. Beautiful. Specimen H1024 defeated. And then the girls join the fight. Wow. That damage was bonkers. You love to see it, bro. We just mess that thing up. Boom! Crimson Ma. Mark 2. Get the hell out of here. You're done. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, it's about to slap you up. Or maybe not. Now moving back into the open world. I took out a Marlboro for some more intel. Completed some training. Oh, Phoenix. That might actually kill him off. Or close to it at least. Boom. And got myself another proto relic, finishing every piece of intel. Beautiful. There it is. Honorary Turk. Obtained the proto relic in the Gongaga region. Met up with a friendly pilot who took us to a new area called the Cosmo Canyon. Crying out. Complete chapter 9. There we go, we're landing in Cosmo Canyon. Chapter 10, Watcher of the Veil. Alright, looks like we've got another challenge on the quest, Bonds of Trust. We need to get rank 3 on this uh, Chocobo gliding minigame. Let's do it. So, the idea on this minigame is to simply glide through the rings and earn points. But, as with many of the minigames in this game, there it is. That's a lot easier said than done. Dude, uh, oh my god, this this challenge, like version 2 of this challenge is so annoying, bro. I don't get it. It's so weird. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's frustrating, bro. Super annoying. Dude, uh, it doesn't go high. Oh my god, I'm losing my shit. <laughs> oh my god, have I finally got it? Oh no, I'm gonna look. No, I'm too low. This is so shit. Bro, this is. What is this mini game, bro? This is it. This is it. This is the run. Oh, oh, finally. Oh my god, that is the worst mini game in the game by far. That is horrendous. Please, no more of these things. Oh no. Training course three. Is there another one? Please, no. Don't do this to me. Oh, there is another one. God damn, bro. Rank 3, we need a score of 9,600. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I am not looking forward to this. Not one bit. Dude, 
Have you got like time the star? My guess is if I want to rank three, it's going to be like course two where I need to hit every single circle, which means I'm going to have to time this beginning part, which I'm clearly not doing a very good job of. Right, so I guess I need to hold R2 maybe just as they kind of hit the peak at the outer edge, I guess. So like now maybe, maybe even before that. Yeah, slightly before that. I can already tell this is going to suck. This is going to be so horrible. All right, let's try now. All right, I think that's good. I still missed one. Oh, my God. Right, so I think I got to hold R2 the moment they, they like, cross paths, I think. There we go, finally. Only took me about 50 attempts. All right, let's uh, see how this first run goes now that I've finally done that first part. Oh god, do I have to like shimmy over to this one? And then to this one. Alright, and then we boost up. There we go. Then we're gonna need to dive down onto these. And dip up fast as possible. Yep, that works. Dip down again. Dip up. There we go. Then we need to... Go. Wait, they're moving. Oh, I might have just messed that up. Come on, boost me. Oh my god, it actually worked. Then onto this one. Ooh, I almost missed that. Then to this one. There we go, that one. Now right, then we're gonna have to dip again in a minute. I don't know when to dip though. That was late, I think. Yeah, that was late. Damn. Wait, where do we go after that? And then we turn right. Okay, that's the end. Okay, let's retry, see how this goes. I feel like this could be easier than number two, but we're going to have to see how difficult that final section is. Because it looks easy, but it's really not. <laughs> I just missed one. God damn it. <laughs> All right, so far, so good. Ooh, up we go. Ooh, I'm going to miss it. Ah, oh, so close. Yeah, I just needed those last two. Okay, so it's just about getting that little bit of height there at the end. Okay, I think I can do this in the next try or two. Depending on how difficult it's going to actually be to, yeah. to get, get that distance, um, I'm, what I'm probably best doing is the moment I go through that last one, I need to instantly turn to the right so I've got the maximum height to reach it. Right, so as soon as I go through that 300, I need to instantly dip to the right. <sighs> Come on, bro, that's, ooh. Damn, that's gonna be hard, bro. I felt like I did that perfect and I missed it. Oh no, it's gonna be hard to hit this, the, these final two. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude. Oh, that was so close. Boom, let's go. Oh my god, I hate these mini games, bro. <laughs> this mini game is horrendous, man. Oh my god. I've loved most of the mini games, but this one is ass. Please, no course for. Whew, there we go. We should get the uh, proto relic for the canyon region. We've got to play this mini game that's called Gears and Gambits. You can change all these different things. They've all got different skills and stuff like that. You got three robots. What I usually do is I just press square to auto program and then the game kind of gives you what it thinks is probably best for the mission. It worked on the other three, so I'm just going to do the same thing for this one. All right, it's commence battle. So yeah, the way this works is it's kind of similar to one of the other mini games. So we got three minutes and we've got an APB meter in the bottom left. And then it's basically three elements, which is fire, ice, and lightning. If we cycle through our bots, we can see the bot 
T3 is strong against lightning enemies. So if I spawn him, it should do weakness damage to this enemy, which is what we need. And then we obviously just need to do enough damage to the enemy in the middle to win the fight in the time limit. So like I say, very similar to one of the other mini games we played. Um, we do have a two abilities as well. We got two triangle abilities. One of them is heal and one of them is to cause damage to everything, but we can only use them once during a fight. So you, you kind of got to use them at the, the right times. So let's uh, let's go get this done and hopefully get another trophy. All right, I think we got this one. We got a minute and 30 seconds. Health bars looking quite low. Oh, I'm going to have to be careful over here though. This fire enemy is going to take me out. I need to be able to spawn something quick. Uh, there we go. All right, that should be enough to take care of him. Just hopefully be able to spawn one more and we should be good. That should be it. Yeah, there it is. Boom. Beautiful. Yeah, none of these were really too difficult. There it is. There's our proto relic for the canyon region. Beautiful. Phenomenon Intel 4, the River of Light, which means we've now fully completed the Cosmo Canyon region. And we should get that trophy. Yep, there it is. The Gambit paid off. Another trophy. That was a, It took a while to get another trophy, but we're now at, what, 37 trophies. All right, here we are. We're finally heading to uh, Nibelheim, which I think is the last location, which means once we get there and start completing everything in that area, we should start getting uh, a bunch more trophies. Ooh, stars fell from my eyes. Completed chapter 10. And we start chapter 11, The Long Shadow of Shinra. Dude, this is so annoying. Finally, jeez. I don't know why we're struggling so much with that. What is that? Jesus, okay. Two faces, the frick. Oh my God, we have to fight solo as well. Oh no, there we go. Yin and Yang dead. Discoverer. Aim for the crates. Supply crates broken. Ten. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Alright, I'm gonna have to, like, lead the shot. Okay, that one worked. How much do I need to lead the shot by? Way more than that. Okay, that hit. Right, you don't have to lead it by that much. Yeah, you, you really don't have to lead it by much. They get there pretty quick, it seems. I mean, if there's loads of boxes, I can just spam them. Oh, you don't get long, though, do you, to do it? Too early, that one. Yeah, you really don't get very long. Oh, did I do it? Broke 10 supply crates. Sweet. Right, we got him. Nice. Shortly after beating up another boss, I headed back outside and had to deal with my good friend Roach again. Oh, it's 1v1 against Roach. Let's get it then, bro. He's whooping my ass. Am I supposed to lose this fight? We got him. After dealing with him, though, I headed back home and finished a few side quests. One of them gave me my final piano song. I had to get an A rank in all six songs. I thought it was going to be really hard because song number five was like really difficult. So I thought this one would be even harder, but that was actually really easy. A rank. Yeah, there we go. That was super easy. First attempt. Yeah, the like I was saying, the, the fifth song was so difficult and they seemed to have gradually got harder and harder as they went. So I just assumed that one would be the hardest and it really wasn't. <laughs> Page of sheet music. Let the battles the begin. Wait, have I got to do another one? Is there a final one? Oh, nope, there's the trophy. Piano Virtuoso. Play all six Piano Outreach Association uh, songs well enough to receive remuneration. Men, remin, receive remuneration? I haven't a clue what that word is, but yeah, we got the trophy. All right, so I found the final Moogle home. There's basically been one in each area. So this is the sixth one, which I would assume is the final one. And I think there's a trophy for this as well. So for these, you just basically need to round up all of the Mooglets and get them all in the uh, in the center um, within the time limit. But also you can see the kind of like attacking. They got these like attacks, like this guy's got a banana. They all have different attacks. If you get hit three times, you uh, basically have to restart, which is definitely a little bit annoying. But they're not too bad. Okay. 
Alright. Kupo. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Moogle lover. Max out your Moogle Emporium merchant rank. Alright, so there's the Proto Relic for the Nibelheim region. Which should unlock a trophy. And we've fully completed this region altogether as well, which is happy days. Yep, there's the trophy. Professional Handler. Right, so the only Proto Relic I need now is one more, which is in... Coral Canyon, I think it was, but um, I wasn't able to do it, so I'm guessing maybe I have to go back in a few more tra chapters or something. It hasn't popped up telling me I can go back. Ooh, you're not Murasaki. Complete chapter 11 and begins chapter 12, a golden key. Heading into the next chapter, I went to go get a high score on two more mini games. Oh, 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 that was so close. One minute, 39 seconds and 71 milliseconds. I was cutting that so close. All right, another challenge, ribbiting rollers for a rank three. I need to last for a minute and 20 seconds. Hopefully this one isn't as difficult as that other one. So I remember the other one was um, quite difficult to get the time. Stay on the platform for as long as possible. I can play in bloody uh, Fall Guys or something when I play these mini games. There we go, got it. I think should be good. Yeah, there we go, beautiful. I think we only needed 120, so I should be sweet. A rank three on that mini game. Holy frame rate, Batman. What the hell is going on over there? Don't know what that is, but it's killing my frame rate. Either way, got my time. I'm good. See you later, Fraggles. Before taking part in a play, I'm going on a date. Act three, the grand finale. Difficulty three. Okay, let's get it. Final results, S. Hell yeah. Hey, critically acclaimed. Receive a review of an S or higher for your performance in Loveless of the Gold Saucer. Oh, and another one. Five star hotel, donate 60 items to the treasure trove at Johnny's Seaside Inn. Hell yeah, two more for the collection. Jesus, jeez, okay. All right, it's time to fight. Yeah, so we made it back to the Golden Saucer and we've got um, we've got a bunch of new side stuff to do, but I think I'm going to leave that to to the end. But yeah, we've now got to fight this guy. Hey, you ready? Hey, you ready? There we go. Get out of here, mate. Anyone else want to come and have a go? Okay, so we can finally do the last proto relic. I think I'm going to finish the game because I think I'm pretty much at the end now. Um, so I think what we'll do is finish the game and then finish the rest of the stuff. Done pretty much, for the most part, almost everything up until this point. But now we're near the end. Let's just get it done. Oh, parts out. Duke's up. Complete chapter 12. Okay, chapter 13, recap. where angels fear the tread. Or to tread. <laughs> what are the characters doing, bro? <laughs> like the chase and the tail. We're going to town on this thing. Boom. Ooh. I'm here for you. Complete chapter 13. Chapter 14. End of the world. Jesus. This is so badass, bro. Oh my god. I'm coming in hard! Mind if we drop in? Because we thought we'd swing by! Let's go. Ready? 
<laughs> Hell yeah, brother, let's go. Woo, this is so freaking badass. Time. Uh, yeah. All right. Follow my lead. I like it. Confluence of Worlds, complete chapter 14. That's the end of the journey, the end of the story for now. It was, uh, was a really good ending, but uh, I don't want to spoil it. But that isn't the end of the Platinum journey. You can see there the adventure continues. So we've now got chapter selection and we've also unlocked hard difficulty. So for one of the trophies, we do have to play through the whole game on hard. But before we do that, we've completed basically step one, which was getting through the game. So step two, what we're going to do is basically just go and do everything that I haven't done. So all of the side missions, the all of the mini games, there's so many mini games. I need to do all of them. You basically need 100% because you need to get all of the treasure troves for Johnny, which even though it doesn't say it's 100%, it's, it's basically 100%. Um, but yeah, to get all them, I've got to go do all of the mini games, get the high score on them all and uh, do all the card stuff. There's so much more to do. I'm currently at, you can see on the bottom left there, 79 hours and I've just finished the, the story. So yeah, it's now time to basically go and clean up everything and hopefully get to level 70 as well because then when we jump into hard mode, we'll be uh, fully geared up and leveled up. All right, we got the last one called Replacement Test. So this is the card carnival challenges. It's basically the card game, but instead of going against opponents, you've got to basically figure out the puzzle of, you know, like where to place stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, I am absolutely horrendous at this. So I've been using a guide for some of the solutions because I am so bad at some of these. This should be the last one now. So that's all of the challenges done at the car carnival. Yeah, without a guide, these would have taken a long, long time. There we go. We built the proto relic. Brilliant. Well, there's the phenomenon Intel 4, which means we've now got all of the Intel in the coral region and the final piece of the proto relic as well, which should give us a trophy. Yep, there it is, Cactuar Crusher. So now that I'd earned all of the Proto Relics, it opened up a new area in which I needed to face Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh Island. Um, okay. I don't think I've been there yet. Wait, so is this a totally new area we just unlocked? Truly excellent work, Cloud. I've detected the sudden emergence of an unknown landmass. Improbable though it may seem, a new island has appeared out of thin a new air. Island? Okay. okay. So we'll go into Gilgamesh Island. Before heading there though, I spent about two hours completing all of the chocobo races back at the gold saucer. Sweet. Alright, that's all of the races done, I think, now. Oh, a trophy as well. Hall of Famer. Win all chocobo races. And then I completed a bunch of new stuff. That's the saucer, expert rank three. Alright, so I'm currently been going through the Musclehead Coliseum. There's quite a lot of challenges, as you can see. And I've only got one more left. A six person bout level 60. We're currently 65, so we shouldn't have too much trouble with it. So let's go finish this one and see if it's the last one. Oh, we almost got him. Almost there. 
There we go. Sweet. Yep, there it is. That was the last one. Are you not entertained? Complete our bouts in the Musclehead Coliseum. Sweet. None of them were, uh, were too difficult. Got me a hell of a lot of level ups though, which is going to help me with some of the uh, the next challenges. There we go. Score is mine. Sweet. It's another challenge done. There's so many challenges. It's ridiculous. What a coincidence meeting you here. Quest can't stop, won't stop. So this should be the final side quest that I need to do. So what, have I got to go and beat a load of high scores or something? Okay. Oh god, I really have got to do all the attractions again? Oh no. Live for the UPA challenge. Okay, bye. What the hell was that? <laughs> Alright. Party hard with the Shinra middle manager. Got to beat his high score on five different games. Brilliant. There we go. Alright, that's... Score one beat. That one was uh, that was really easy. I was way ahead of the, uh, the guy. On clearing the first challenge. All right, first challenge done. Your... There we go. Challenge number two done. This next challenge had me facing a bunch of tonberries, and they did not go down easy. Bro, the, what is this, man? There's about 20 tonberries, and they just insta kill me, bro. Oh my god, I'm dead again, bro. This is so. Shit, bro. What a dog shit challenge. Oh my fucking god, dear. Sis, I'm gonna have to back out and try different strategies. It's so annoying. Oh, I got a trophy. I don't know what it was for. Grind it out. Attain level 70 with a character. Sweet. I'm still trying to do this freaking Tomberry fight. <laughs> oh, I think I might have actually done it here. No! No, I was... There was two enemies left. Wait, I'm still resisting. Yes. Okay, this is working, this is working. Please resist, please resist. Yep. Come on, let's just hit this. Kill this last one. Boom, finally the Tomberry round is done. I've still got three rounds though, I think. I'm sure there were five rounds altogether. I hope they're not as bad as that round, because that round is rough. Yeah, round three. Hopefully no more tonberries. <laughs> Please no more tonberries. Alright, final round. Ironclad. So round three and four were pretty easy. There were nothing too too difficult in there. And we'll see how this one goes. Victory! Alright, challenge complete. So that's the third one, I think it was. Yeah, that's the third one. We've got two more. Alright, so what have I got to do? For the UPA score, I need to get 32,000. And then for the rank three as well, which I haven't done yet. So, kind of kill two birds with one stone, I guess. Let's go. There we go. Got my score that I needed. There we go. Rank S, 33,800. Beautiful. Congrats on clearing the fourth challenge. I hereby proclaim you an enviable party animal. Alright. Last one then. Oh, brilliant. Got so face him at Queen's Blood now as well. My ultimate deck. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Slaps him up. GG, Shinra middle manager. Little bitch. Look at that. Beautiful. And we got him as an ultimate card as well. Too early to name you the ultimate. What? I and forgot to do now. Because I hold that title, and there can only be one. I All just beat you, bro. In a final match. Oh, you what the hell are you serious? Battle, oh the god. And the glory and the party. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Oh no, I had trouble with these 3D brawler missions earlier. So this is this is gonna suck. I couldn't tell. This is gonna be so bad. <laughs> Dude, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this minigame, it's unreal. Like, how terrible I am at it. I mean, all it is is basically remembering that the six combos, the up, down, left, and up, down, right, with the left and right analog stick, that's all it is. And then, of course, when he puts his guard up, doing the opposite. And so that's all it is. It's just remembering those six moves. But you've got to remember them. Then you've got to react quick enough and press the import. And I am just so insanely bad at it. Dude, I'm so bad, man. I, 
Some of these mini games suck, bro. Like they're just way too difficult. Some of them. Oh my God, bro. This is gonna make. This is gonna have me raging in a minute, bro. Oh my freaking God, man. Come on, bro. Oh, this mini game is pissing me off. Fuck this mini game, bro. I just, I can't do this mini game. I literally can't do this mini game, bro. I hate this shit. This sucks, man. All right. Cheese strategy. Oh, he just beat me, bro. Come on. Right. Anyway, yeah. So you, you can basically like pause the game when you see the attack coming at you, and then you have time to kind of react to it. That is a huge win, bro. Like, I don't know if I would actually have been able to do this this mini game without this strategy. Because this mini game, like legit, it might not seem difficult, but this mini game is so ass. This is one of the worst mini games I think I've ever played in any game ever. And that might just be because I'm terrible at it. Not gonna lie. It might be because I'm so bad at it. But regardless, this sucks. Boom. Get out of here, mate. I hate this mini game. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying before, if I couldn't use that pass strategy, this would be borderline impossible for me i think or just a ton of um trial and error just trying and trying and trying and hoping to get it the problem is i've still got to do more of these uh 3d brawl levels <laughs> not looking forward to it even fist bumping people that might be the the most positive i've seen him all game even giving people high fives well trying obtained gambler materia there it is, that's my trophy as well. My job here is done. Complete all quests. And we got a new challenger as well, 3D Brawler. A new challenger appears. Oh no. I think this is where I've got to beat Sephiroth for another trophy. All right, so now we're done with that. Of course, we've got to beat Sephiroth, as I just said, but I've also got to do a few extra 3D Brawler missions, I think. And I've also got to do all of the remaining challenges and matches of the Queen's Blood. Easy win, mate. Extreme survival done, mate. Do one. Oh shit, I've got nightmare. Oh god. Obtain rank blood legend. How the hell do I get the rank of blood legend? Here we go. So I can't do all of the card games yet. So now I'm gonna have to worry about something else, which is doing the 3D brawler, which is another mini game I am horrendous at. So I'll beat these three during the story. So now I've got four star, five star, and then whatever you wanna call Sephiroth. So yeah, I'm terrible at this mini game. So it's probably gonna be tough, but I do know the pause strategy now. So let's see if I can get these three done. Wish me luck, gonna need it. <laughs> Boom. Nothing. Shiva. Done. Now, right, if I don't mess this up, should be good. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Hope you're ready. If for it. Done. This is horrendous, bro. What were they thinking with these mini games? Like, honestly, who play tested these mini games? Oh my god! Uh, it literally hits you only like three times and you're done. But you've got to hit him about fucking seven. It's so stupid, bro. So stupid. And then even when you block, it still increases his limit. Even cheese in this is absolutely horrendous. I can't overstate how ridiculous some of the requirements are for some of these mini games. The the bonkers, bro. I, I really don't understand. Who over at freaking Square Enix was able to do this without cheese in it? Um don't block dodge. Um these mini games, bro, they're starting to ruin the game for me, man. What the fuck were they thinking with these mini games? The game was so good until these stupid freaking mini games. Why does he do the block sometimes instead of dodging? Am I doing it too early? Am I doing it too late? Right, this is the closest I've been. Yeah, this is easily the closest I've been. I think I need to hit him once or twice more. Damn, the block again, bro. It, the, the block is what screws me every single time. I don't know why it does it, but sometimes instead of dodging, it'll block. And the problem is when it does the block, it stops the combo. See, then you can't get your hit on him. It's so dumb. It sh it's the thing that's screwing me up 
almost every time and I don't know why he sometimes blocks. My guess is it's something to do with timing, but I've tried dodging super fast in the middle and super late and no matter what way I do it, sometimes he just still blocks. So I honestly don't know why it's so annoying. I'm gonna lose my shit with this blocking, I really am. I'm, I'm losing my mind. Uh, this is good, this is good. Oh, this is good, this is, come on, let's go, let's keep going. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Problem is, if he starts doing that blocking shit, it can be going perfectly, and then he starts doing the blocks, and I'm screwed. Oh, there we go. Right. <laughs> I need to, like, take a second to, to breathe. <sighs> right, two more hits on him, I think, and it should be good. No, see what I mean with the blocking, bro? Stop blocking, you tit. I might have been able to beat him there if he didn't block. I don't know if this is the last attack of his or not. Come on, last one. Is this it? Let's go, man. Yes. Yes. Finally. Oh, my God. I freaking hate this minigame, bro. I'm so glad it's over. There's my trophy. Polygonal prize fighter. Defeat Sephiroth in 3D brawl. <laughs> I'm so glad that's over. Oh my god. Let's go. Beautiful. One down. Seven more to go. What up, Blood Queen? Wait, it's her? Oh. Really? Wow. I already beat her twice. Wait, 19. It's a draw at the minute. If I can... What can I put down that might just push this over the edge? What about that? Ooh. Ooh, I think I've won. I think I got it. I've got 23. And we got it. Boom. I think that was my... Third attempt? Second or third attempt. Not bad. I'll take it. I am the blood champion. Alright, so now I've got one last challenge, I think, which is obviously the, the one at the Golden Saucer. There's something here I haven't done as well. Meridian Ocean. There's four of those proto relic things I haven't done. I'll have to go check that out shortly. Alright, well, we've got a good lead here, so we're gonna have to just see how this plays out. It's not looking good. I mean, I've definitely still got the score I need. I can put that down there, but I only get two points. Let's just pass again. All right. He's only got one card. We've won, I think. Yeah, we've won. We got it. Let's go. That was hard. That was really difficult. There we go. Beautiful. Even though we won that final round, we overall got a higher score. New card. Behemoth. Completed every survival challenge. Nice. All right. Cool, cool, cool. But now, though, it looks like I've done all of the gold saucer, which is which is a big win. All right, here we are. This is the island that kind of popped up out of nowhere. Head on in and uh, see what it's all about. Yeah. Oh. Need to steal all my proto relics. Oh. Little turd. Do you know how long it took me to get all of those? Right, so he stole all of my proto relics and it seems I've now got to get them back by fighting all of these different enemies, these arenas. So we got like, what, Gilgamesh Gardens. Shrine of the Hazy Moon, Shrine of the Full Moon, and Shrine of the Moonbow. So I guess they're all like bosses. They're all level 65 as well. Oh, that one's 70. So we got three that's 65 and one that's 70. They're all on this tiny little island. So let's go get them, I guess. And once I've done these four trials as well, I'll have got all of the intel, which means I can probably craft the remaining materia for Chadley for another trophy. So let's uh, let's go face some some bosses. Inspect the ritual shrine. Complete the tempering trial. Acquired summoning material. Titan and be Oh, so it's all of the summons. We gotta face all the summons again. We gotta face two in one. Oh shit, okay. That's gonna be uh it's gonna be difficult. This is pretty cool though. It's like a cool little boss dungeon arena thing. There we go. Got him. Alright, that one was that one wasn't too bad. I mean, it wasn't bad at all, to be honest. It was pretty easy. I'm guessing it'll be the level 70 Gilgamesh fight that will probably be the difficult one, just because it's it's max level. All right, so we go. The first one. Beautiful. All right, we got him. Phoenix is done. Beautiful. All right, yeah, that one wasn't too bad either. Only one more to go. Boom. Done. All right. On to Gilgamesh. Let's get it. All right, let's do it, Gilly boy. I agree, bro. Where are you? Is he inside this little dojo thing? Breaking your stuff, bro. Where, where are you? Is he out back? Oh, there he is. There's my guy. That's who we're looking for. Let's go, Gilly. Yeah, 
There we go, that was the 300% finally. Staggering success, the old 3000% or more damage to a staggered enemy. Nice. Alright, close. To everyone's limit breaks, finish him off. We got him. Beautiful. Oh, and another trophy as well. Bladesman of Legend. Defeat Gilgamesh. Hell yeah. Right, none of these was hard. I, I beat them all on my first try. So, my guess is you have to do something with Chadley. Maybe it's the Chadley fights that are meant to be really hard. I thought it was Gilgamesh, though. Maybe you fight him again with Chadley. Right, yeah, so it sounds like we're going to have to face him again at Ch with Chadley. To be fair, there was... I'm sure there was something about having to beat all of Chadley's levels, and I haven't got the thingy for it, so there probably is more. Next order of business. I was able to obtain a vast amount yeah, of Combat Simulator has been updated. Oh god, yeah, this is going to be the one people are saying was super difficult. There we go. Intel 1, fare thee well, Gilgamesh. So now the Meridian Ocean world intel is complete. Which means we've fully investigated the proto relic phenomenon. And Chadley's right in front of me as well. Ooh, combat simulator hard difficulty. Chadley has added brutal and legendary challenges to the combat simulator. Conquer the legendary trials to un Oh yeah, this is gonna be rough. Note that both brutal and legendary fights are automatically set to hard difficulty, regardless of your Oh no. Yep, th this is this is where all the difficult is gonna come in then. This is it. This is gonna be the hard part. Right, well, now that we're talking to Chaddy Boy, we should be able to craft the remaining things that we need. So we can craft that. Re-rise. Use Oh, so we can heal a downed. Oh, that's clutch. Yeah, that's definitely getting equipped. Oh, we can get more than more than one as well. And we've got spare change. Not sure if that's good. Definitely gonna be using the the rise one though. There it is. Materia completionist. Develop all possible materia together with Chadley. All right, cool. That was trophy what fifty six. So four more to go. All right, so here I am. So we've now got, as it mentioned, brutal challenges. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six brutal challenges. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine legendary challenges. So this could prove to be quite difficult. So I guess we'll just get on with it and, and see how it goes. All right, so I've come back to Johnny as well because one of the other trophies was obviously for collecting all of the items for Johnny. I've got 83 out of 88 now, so we only need five more. I'm not really sure which ones I need. Right, so I just had a look online. The five that I need for my boy Johnny is two of them are for doing dates. The, the, do you remember when we went? I don't know if I'll show it in the video, but you go on a date on chapter 12 and I went with uh, Aerith. For the other two, I need to take Tifa and then Yuffie. So I'll have, obviously have to chat to select, go do those two. So those two are super easy. One of them though, unfortunately, is completing all of the Chadley challenges. So that's gonna probably be difficult. And then the other two that are missing, there's this mini game down here. I think I've shown it in the video. You need to basically take out all the, the cactuars, but I need to do hard mode, which I had a little try of it and I wasn't having fun with it. It was super annoying but I have to come back and do it now. So hopefully I have a little bit of an easier time. Now I've got more abilities and stuff. Bro, this is so frustrating, this challenge. So, so ass. Fuck off. This is probably the closest I've been. This challenge is so bad, bro. Some of the challenges, man, I know I've said it a few times, but some of these challenges are so garbage. Like I completed the level, but I didn't get the score because I got hit too many times or something. I don't know. Absolute trash. Seems just a lot of the time spamming the wind move is, is pretty good. Doesn't do like tons of tons of damage, but it hits a lot. So it's kind of quite useful. All right, we're almost there. I haven't took too much damage, which is good. I'm just gonna keep spam spamming this wind. There we go, we got it, boys. Let's go. Yeah, okay, so if you're having trouble with this, just spam the wind move and it should go okay spam the wind move and if they're really close range sometimes do the art of war i think it was called i've finally done that with all four of them 
Oh, hell yeah. Right, that should be the... There we go. There's the S rank with Tifa. So now I just need to do S rank with uh, Yuffie. Sweet. There's my S rank with Yuffie as well. So I should only need two more treasure trove objects. All right, so I'm just playing through the game on uh, hard mode. I think I'm on chapter 11 right now, so I'm making some really good progress on hard mode. And I realized that uh, Kate Sith is actually a weapon that I haven't used and leveled up. And I'm pretty sure there was a trophy for leveling up every weapon, and I think I needed one more. And I didn't know I had this one, um, so I just kind of assumed would probably unlock like a, a secret weapon for finishing hard mode or some of the other challenges we've still got to do. But it seems it's possible that I might, once I upgrade the ability there, the Moogle Mine, actually get the trophy for the weapons we will see. Because I know it says something about folios as well, so I'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, my playthrough for hard mode so far has been going quite well. It's definitely um, not easy. There's definitely certain bosses that are really difficult though, but it's it's kind of all over the place. It's not just like overall like decent or whatever. It's just certain bosses are really, really easy and then the other ones are just ridiculously unbalanced. Nice, mastered. Hell yeah. I love how the, the mines are uh, just little teddies and stuff. Right, well, I just mastered what I think is the final weapon and I didn't get the trophy for it. So my guess is I'm maybe missing a folio or something. You see that master all weapon abilities and limited breaks, including those found in folios. So maybe I'm missing something there. I'm not sure because I've definitely done all of the weapons now. So if I go to system and play log, yeah, so you can see weapon abilities learned. I've got 49 out of 49 now. It must be something in the folio. Oh, I might actually be able to get a trophy here. So I think I needed one more skill with Barrett, and I think it only cost five. Um, I went around and did a bunch of mission side missions to get more skill points because on hard difficulty you get manuscripts which give you i think 10 points skill points per manuscript and on hard mode you get manuscripts for just playing through the game but you also get manuscripts for certain side missions as well so i've gone through done a couple so you can see i've got a, a decent amount of skill points to spend so hopefully i can get that final skill for barrett along with the trophy right so here's barrett so i think this purple one here should unlock the trophy i'm hoping i haven't missed anything yeah there it is finally well rounded master all weapon abilities and limit breaks including those found in the folios right so now just got to get this hard mode beat on chapter 13 so pretty much at the end now and then it's on to chadley our boy chadley This is so cheesy, bro. Like, some of the boss fights are so bad. that Like, the developer's like, oh, how do we make this boss fight? I, I don't know. Let's make a, a move that is literally impossible to avoid. That move you can't avoid. I've tried putting materia on so I'm, I don't get hurt by fire. Doesn't matter for that move. It's just a move that they've put in to just make the, that boss fight difficult. It's just annoying, bro. Bad game design. That's all there is to it. So shit. Stupid, bro. How do you... It's so dumb. Unfucking real The only thing you can do is just get lucky that you have full health when he does the move and then also have enough ability points to revive the ones that die and hope in general that they don't all just die because it's overpowered as shit worst one of the worst boss fights so far horrendous no oh, you fucking asshole I'm over this game, bro. I'm over it. Bro, he's got no health! Fuck! 
finally, bro. Oh my god. Get that red warrior boss out of here, bro. That is horrendous. I know I probably said that about eight times, but I cannot overstate how absolute cheesy this boss fight is. Oh my fucking god, bro. This boss fight is so shit, bro. It's got about 20 million phases. Every time I die, I've got to watch these stupid cutscenes. So freaking boring, man. Tedious, boring, just pure frustrating. Every time I die, I gotta watch this stupid cutscene. And then to make it worse, when I start the actual fight, my characters are all basically dead from the previous 28 million phases of this stupid boss fight. So bad, man. Don't play this game on hard mode. It's so shit. All right, can, can I play now? You see what I mean? I gotta watch this every time. And then I start with this. Oh my god! This is pissing me off. Yeah, you gotta watch another two minute boss fight before the fucking I get the chance to even fight the thing and then possibly die in two seconds to watch another two minute cutscene. Just let me skip it, bro. Like, come on. Oh, fucking, this is pissing me off. Oh my god, I think I've done it. Finally, bro. Give me a checkpoint. Save the game. Get me out of this place, bro. That took about two hours of watching the same fucking cutscene over and over again. Right, now I've got to beat Sephiroth as well. Oh, for God's sake, bro. Give me a break. Right, let's do it. Let's finish this. Oh, my fucking God. Yeah, another section where when you die, you've got to watch about, this time, two minutes of cutscene or something, and then you've got to do some stupid little section at the beginning where you avoid a tornado and hit a weak point. Then you get another cutscene, then you have to climb up some wall, do some other cutscene, and then you finally get to the next fight where it does a move that reduces you to one HP, which means if you take one more hit after that, you're basically dead and have to do this whole cutscene thing again. This game has got some of the worst worst boss design I've ever seen it legit the hero you turned out to be oh my god bro do you know what I'm gonna time how long it takes for me just to get to that shit boss fight wow. right so it takes so it doesn't take five minutes it takes about two and a half minutes to get to this point where he does this move which leaves me with one hp which basically means if i faff up even one time i have to do that two and a half minute section over and over again so because i messed up that one little section because i couldn't heal i've got to watch that two and a half minutes of bullshit just to try that two seconds again and i've got to do that over and over again it's, it's the developers did not play this game on hard. Not a fucking chance. Because it's so unbalanced. It's so unfun. Let's go, bro. Let's go. No! No! Nah, bro. Nah! That is bullshit. Oh, that is so bullshit. Oh, I think I've done it. Bro, what the fuck? What? what? It didn't finish his special and then he just insta-kills. Bro, that is... What is this game? I hate this game, bro. I hate this game. <sighs> oh, finally, let's go. Screw you, Sephiroth, you freaking cheesy bitch. Thank God for that. Oh, my days. Skip. Get me out of here. Boom. Completed chapter 14 on hard, which means my trophy of hardy stock. Complete all chapters on hard. Ooh, finally, that was not easy. It was not fun. It was stressful. I never, ever want to do it again. It's literally made me go from loving this game to hating it. So glad it's over. Now I've got the Chadley challenges, which are probably going to be really freaking difficult as well. So, what? I'm 132 hours in in game time on the bottom. Let's go get these Chadleys done, bro, and be done with this game. Ooh, I might actually win this. Let's go. 
finally beat this challenge, bro. I kept dying on uh, stage nine over and over again. This probably took me about two hours, this one challenge. You needed to go through and do 10 waves. Every time I failed, I was wasting like 12 minutes and it took me a lot of tries. I did get an elemental materia though, which is uh, which is good. But finally, I'm done with uh, this challenge, which was what? Requiem for the Scorn. Yeah, that one was rough. All right, we got it. It's another challenge down. Beautiful. It's another 10 rounder in the bag. Yes! Oh my god. Finally. Bro, that took me about five hours, man. I'm not even joking. That probably took about five hours. Oh my god, I'm finally done. That's not even meant to be the hardest one, and that took me five freaking hours, bro. That is bonkers, man. Holy shit. I'm so glad that's done. I need to like back out and save the game because if it crashed, I would simulation. legitimately cry. I am finally done with that challenge, bro. It's a miracle. Boom. And that's challenge number five done. Yeah, let's go. That was so much easier than challenge four. Challenge four so far was the one that killed me off. It took so goddamn long. Right, so since I don't show the whole challenge because it'd take way too long, and this video's already way too long, for a little context. All right, last fight. Most of these challenges have 10 waves each. No, come on, bro. Come on, Sephiroth, you freaking knobhead. Oh my god. And this particular one, which is super freaking difficult, every single one is a boss. All of the fights are difficult. If you fail at any point, you have to redo the whole thing. Let's go! I think I've done it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, finally. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh my god, the relief. Oh, I'm finally done. Oh my god. Let's go. Right, I need to save the game quick time, bro. Oh, 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 let's get it, bro. Finally, the end is in sight. Oh my god, let's go. Next, I had to do the legendary challenges, most of which meant completing each character's solo challenge. Yes! <laughs> there we go, boom. Cloud's solo challenge completed. We got him, boys! Boom, let's go. That's Barrett's now legendary that. challenge complete. It's over, Jabba Wocky, whatever the frick you called. Get out of here! That's Tifa. Done. <laughs> little bitch. I see boy. I see boy. Get out of the way. Oi. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Chill, 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 chill. Right, electrify is fine. He can give me all the electrify. He's just healing me, bro. I do not mind. See you later, bro. Oh, that was bad. I almost faffed that up. Alright, I'm just gonna heal me. That's cool. Alright, he's going for prey. Wait for last second. Boom, dip out of the way. This should finish him off, I think. And that'll be Aerith's legendary challenges done. There we go, brother. Victory! Boom! These are so much easier than the legendary... No, was it the brutal ones? I'm doing the legendary ones right now. They're so much easier. These ones here, these brutal ones, these are the rough ones. It, you would think legendary would be harder, but no. Brutal are very brutal. So, who are we on to red 13 now? Almost got him now. This one was super easy. This is my first try. I mean, I don't want to eat my words and die now, but this one was the easiest one so far. I don't know why he's doing that, but I don't like it. Alright, he's basically done. I might just do a level two, because it'll probably kill him. Yeah, beautiful. There we go. That's red 13's legendary challenge complete. Nice. Let's go, bro. Let's go. This could kill him. Ooh, close. Ooh, super close. Let's try Thunder him real quick. I don't know if this is going to mess me up. There we go. Let's get it. That's Yuffie's legendary mission done. 
So last character we've got now is Kate Sith. And then we've got these two, which I'm not really looking forward to. So we'll see how they go. For now, though, let's do Kate Sith. We're almost there. Taking a t it's time, but slowly getting there. Stresses me out every time it looks at me, though. They can kill me so fast. If the attention goes on me instead of a Moogle. I think one more stun and we might be okay. Shit, telekinesis. He's hide, hide behind the rocks. Otherwise, it just insta kills you that move. So you gotta be prepared for it every time he does it. We almost got him. But this is super slow, but like, it's the safest way of doing it. Bro, there's no way. There's absolutely no way the dude just one shotted me when he had no HP left. That is, oh, that is so trash, bro. He's so low. I cannot die again when he's like basically no health. There's no way I can allow it to happen. Yeah, there we go. Kate Sith, legendary challenge complete. I died twice right at the very, very end. You, saw, you probably saw one of them, but it happened twice. So I'm glad this one's done. It weren't hard. It just takes ages. All right, so last two is Bonds of Friendship and To Be A Hero. And once I've done these two, the Platinum should hopefully, fingers crossed, be mine, finally. No, come on. That's disgusting, bro. Oh my god. I just got wrecked, bro. Last fight as well. What the f- Oh my god, bro. Dude. Fuck off, man. Like, honestly, fuck off. Oh, dude. Oh, now I'm fucked, Anna. Oh my god, bro. There's no fucking way. I hate this game, bro. Come on. Come on. I'm so close. Come on. This, this could be it. Yes! That took so long, bro. Hours and hours and hours, bro. Oh my god. We've got one more challenge left. And I think it's basically this exact same challenge. But instead of Zack being on your team, we've got Sephiroth. So that should hopefully make it easier. But one more challenge to be a hero oh and the platinum yeah. is finally mine that. we're in touch and distance right now champs oh my god finally oh this could be it i think i beat him come on come on this could be it yes Boom! Let's go. This should be the platinum now. Is this the platinum? Come on, give me my platinum, bro. Give me my platinum. I'm done. Victory. Oh, there it is. Virtually renowned, which means the platinum trophy as well. At some point. Okay, okay. Right. I thought you automatically get the trophy, but I think I've got to go and talk to Johnny to kind of... Um, complete it so let's go chat with uh my boy johnny over here there it is items collected 88 so i should be able to chat with him now and we should get the final trophy and the platinum come on give it to me okay. Okay. i saw the johnny's when i was seven star hotel finally i'm so glad this is over bro I'm so happy this is over. I would not recommend going for the Platinum in this game. It's bloody torture. But uh, yeah, we finally got it done. There it is. Seven Star Hotel. Inform Johnny that we've donated all possible items to the treasure trove, which means the planet's hope, the Platinum, mine, we're done. Oh my God, this was one hell of a ride. This was not easy. I hated this game towards the end. But first playthrough, amazing. These challenges, hell no, brother. But there it is. We're finally done. I've got all of the bloody medals, all 88. That was the final one, I think, the secret one here, which was for the challenges. And then I wonder what's inside this, because I, I did wonder what's inside here. What's inside? A page sheet of music, one winged angel. 
another page of music okay i might try that one but there it is anyway thank you so very much for watching let me see how long this took me actually as well because it took me a good while so the game says 166 hours but it'll no doubt be more than that in real time because i don't think it counted some of my retries and stuff but uh yeah that's it for the platinum thank you so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i've been mr leaning this has been final fantasy rebirth take care and i'll catch you all on the next video